Alrighty, good morning everybody. It's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. Time to go into the shop. So one of the things that I've really been loving lately is my 3D printer. Because it's a little like being a kid on Christmas morning. At nighttime, I find something that I want to print and I set the printer to doing it. And then I come in the morning and I get to come in here and see if I got a toy or a new gift. And oh yeah, it looks like it worked out perfectly. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, it goes this way. I'm holding it upside down. Now I see. All right, let's see if it fits. Perfect. Look at that. So cool. Yeah, so I could never see this thing, and I've been keep seeing these online, and I saw one that had good reviews. It was free. It, this took a while. I started this, I think, last night at like 6 o'clock, and at like midnight when I went to bed, it still had a ways to go. But it has really been a lot of fun being able to just print fun things that I can use in my shop. So there it is. I just need to learn how to use some of these CAD programs to start making my own stuff or being able to like modify something will be really cool. And it makes me want one of these even fancier 3D printers. Like I said, this one's pretty basic. It's an anacubic, but it's been great. It hasn't failed on me one time. It has printed everything I've given it to print. Um, so that's really cool. But, you know, you see these new H2 printers from uh, Bamboo Labs and stuff. So, yeah, here's the software thing, my slicer. All right, so that's cool. Well, just wanted to share that with you because um, it's a lot of fun. If you ever thought about getting a 3D printer and you do some of the kind of stuff that I do, you might find quite a few uses for it. Now, granted, I'm nowhere near at the level of... Uh, you know, you guys probably saw the other day I advertised Sam Craft, who I get jigs from, because Sam's really good, and he really makes great stuff. But, um, you know, maybe uh, down the road, hopefully I'll get there where I can make my own things, because I do have ideas of things I, I really want to make. This is one that I want to do. I really want to improve on these um, arbors for the buffers, but... Uh, my skill level is not quite there yet, but we're getting there.